everybody at the auction. All right. Hi, friends. Okay, we're going to see if we can determine what is vintage and what is not when it comes to t-shirts. I've already unpacked the truck, but let's get to it and see if we can figure this out. Okay, so I have this big pile of t-shirts and let's go through them and see if we can determine which is vintage and which is not. The first one in the pile is this Pink Floyd and it is marked 2004 Pink Floyd licensed product. Best way to tell is by looking at the stitching. This one here has double stitching. Although it says 2004, um, I don't know. Can someone put in the chat whether or not they think that this may be something that is a reproduction? Or is this something that is vintage? Okay, so that's number one. Number two is Z Cavarici. You guys remember this brand, Z Cavarici? How awesome is that? Uh, let's see if there's a size on it. It's a medium large. It doesn't have a date anywhere on it. And let's check the stitching. And this appears to have a double stitch. So Z Gavarici, I know is from probably about 30 years ago, maybe, maybe more, but we've got that awesome shirt. Okay, 1985. 100% cotton and it's by a company named Trophy USA. So this is got some pretty great graphics on it. People love buying these shirts just for the graphics. This is a West Palm Beach shirt. As far as long sleeve shirts, I really don't know how to tell if something is vintage, but it does say 1985 on it. So I'm gonna probably classify this as vintage. Here's another one with a really great graphic on it. Edith Raw. Half Shell Raw Bar, Key West. Another great looking t-shirt. Let's see what we can see here. If it has a single stitch, you can see that it is a little bit dirty. However, most people don't care. And this does have a single stitch on it. So I would say that this is definitely a vintage t-shirt. Beverly Hills Cops, 1994, 1994 or 84, what does that say? 1984, and the tag is pretty tattered and Beverly Hills Cop. Let's see here. And once again, there you have the Single stitch. Syracuse, definitely vintage. Let's look and see. Yes, I would say yes. Here is another great one, Blue Max Raymond Benders. The graphics on some of these are really spectacular. And let's see, this one here has that kind of stitching. It has this this ribbing on it, but I would I would say that this is vintage for sure. Atlanta Braves. This one has some bleach mark on it. And let's see what the year is. 1991. 1991. And it is a size extra large. Like I said, some people buy these just for the graphics. Here we have another Orange Men Syracuse Tower of Power. And it has that same kind of sleeve. Winston Cup Daytona. Look at the graphics on this. Super cool, right? I know some people make blankets out of these sort of things. They make, um, cut them out and use them for graphics on the back of denim jackets. All right, DuPont. Here's another oldie. Let's see if it's vintage and it has, yep, single stitch. This is also another vintage t-shirt. 
No, oh, let's see the graphics on the back of it. Auto paint, DuPont auto paint. Look at that. That's a great graphic on that. Okay, let's move through these quick. Overboard Spring 1990, and it has a single stitch as well. Team NASCAR Winner Circle, and it has a single stitch. That's an awesome one. This one here, 94, Bill Elliott. It's a NASCAR shirt. NASCAR made really amazing shirts with amazing graphics on them. Let's see if we can see the year on here. 1995. That's an oldie but goodie also. Let's see what we have for stitching. And it shows as a single stitch. Blue Max Racing, 1984. Dallas and Charlotte. And... It has a single stitch. So, so far these are all vintage. La Victoria Salsa Racing. Awesome, awesome, awesome graphics. Let's see the back of it. This one is in excellent condition. This is a great shirt. Great color, great shirt. Single stitch. This one's pretty beat up, look at that. Pretty beat up. The Speedo logo's gone. The tag, the collar is pretty frayed. However, it is a single stitch. Florida State. This one has some paint on the top of it. Yeah, it's paint. So somebody may be able to single stitch. So it is vintage. Someone might be able to do something with that one. Doing the Macarena, this is cute. Oh, that's adorable, look at that. That is adorable. Okay, and let's check. Yes, single stitch. If anybody has any comments or if you can help um, distinguish the difference, I would love to hear from you down below. The World Bank means you think you turn three at Daytona. So Jeff Foxworthy, is this vintage? Mm, yes, it is. Another vintage one. Dick Clark, American Bandstand. Grill in Miami. There's no trademarks. There's no date. Definitely looks pretty old and it is a single stitch. What is this one? Pepperdine Malibu, 1988, with some pretty awesome graphics. And single stitch. Another vintage, Syracuse. This is definitely vintage. You can see that it is. This one here, Tom Magoose, Heartbeat of America and it does have some staining on it. These came out of an old Salty's closet. They had been sitting folded up in the closet for a very, very long time. Let's see what this one says, New Orleans. And it is single stitched. Making strides against cancer. It's another nice one with some nice graphics. Hyannis, Cape Cod, shout out to my hometown, Boston, Massachusetts. It is a large, and let's see if it's a single stitch, and it is, or is it? Let's look. Yes, it is. FSU, here's another one. And it is, in fact, a single stitch. Pretty cool. Fright Night on Bone Island. So let's look at the graphics on this. Pretty awesome, if I do say so. 
Look at that. Pirates. Fantasy Fest, Key West, 1998. And let's check. Nope, it's double. You see the double? There's the difference. That's a double stitch. So this one is not vintage. I don't think, even though it says 1998. This one is January 19th, second annual Flathead Show, Lake Worth, Florida. And it is a double stitch. Bada bing, kitty, kitty bar. How's that? Shout out to my friend Joey Bada Bing, who lives right here in South Florida. Let's see if this one is a double stitch. It is. Um, is it or isn't it? Let's see. Yes, I think it is. I think it is. Ooh, look at the graphics on this one. Shoptask.com. Las Vegas. Awesome, awesome, awesome colors. And it is a double stitch. Speedway 2002 Daytona. Look at the colors on this. Absolutely beautiful. Daytona Speedway. Let's see if there's a date on this somewhere. I don't see one. Oh, right there. Haha, <laughs> 2002. All right. Here is a... I don't know. I don't know what kind of shirt this is called. It's McDonald's, McDonald's racing team. It's uh, Bill Elliott, Speed Zone. Does anybody know what kind of shirt this is called? Make a comment down below, let me know. Coors Light Brooks, Neon Circus, Wild West, Dunn, Coors Light. And it's a Gildan. And it's a double stitch. Hot Rod Magazine, 50th anniversary, 1948 to 1998. Another, ooh, look at the back. Hot Rod Magazine. And let's check it out. And it is double stitched. Moroso. Moroso is a racetrack that's down here in South Florida. It's awesome. We used to bring the kids there when they were little. This is a collared shirt. It's awesome. I love this. This is great. Great shirt. Don't know if it's vintage or not. And here we have January Ford's Friends Meet Lake Worth 1903. All right. So that's the pile, and let me know what you think. Do we have a great bundle of vintage shirts or non-vintage shirts? Let's, uh, let's figure it out together. So I'm not an expert, but I know what I have, and they're pretty awesome. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. We will see you at our selling events, and thanks for being here. Bye.